Hmm, what is it? <laughs> My word! Splendid. How wonderful! <laughs> Alas... Just so. Is there something you need? Headquarters sent us a request. So it seems. Op details are as follows. That's all. Vanergan, move out! Let's do this! Engaging! Let's end this! Who's next? Here we go! Get ready! Let's end this! This'll do it! All right. Here we go! It's over! All right. Get ready! This'll do it! Get ready! This'll do it! 
do it! Burn them all! All right, here we go! Stay away! You okay? Burn them all! Who's next? This will do it! Watch this! This'll do it! I'm gonna attack! Here we go! It's over! Here we go! It's over! I'm gonna attack! Commander Death! Get ready! This'll do it! Get ready! Who's next? Get ready! Who's next? Who's next? Burn them all! All right. Who's next? Watch this! Commander down! Burn them all! Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Keep it up! Keep it together. Watch this! Who's next?
You ready? What are you looking at? What's going on? Mission complete. I am one with the sword. The public's torn. Liberation or invasion? Your reputation's taking a hit over this debate. Because of all the pro-liberation articles you've written, we're being called part of the military propaganda machine. So what are you gonna do? Fire me again? The suits want you to pen an apology. They think printing that will help calm things down some. That's ridiculous. I have nothing to apologize for. Well, you can't say your articles didn't contribute to the push for war. I only write what I believe. This war is necessary. We've given hope to the people suffering most from Ruse's economic oppression. I'm proud of this. That may be true, but people are tired of all this war. It doesn't help that the military says our losses are few, yet according to Ruse, that number is substantially higher. You can't possibly believe that. What I think is moot. The people have the louder voice. You're the one who pushed for this free exchange of ideas. It's not just us. All the papers are reporting it. The bottom line is, the people can't make heads or tails of the truth. This is exactly what Ruse wants, to cause unrest. Does that mean you'll write it? The apology? You must be joking. Liberation or invasion? I guess it's a problem of perception. Doesn't matter. There's no stopping now. Well, now's as good a time as any to do some interviews. Hot damn. You see the town lately? Yeah, people are really upset. I honestly don't know how things will shake out. No kidding. Vi seems pretty down in the dumps, too. She took Leonid's death pretty hard. She's, you know, kind. <clears throat> but we can't stop now, right? Right. By the way, how's Am? You all patched up yet? Not sure. I'll have to check in. Need to speak to him about something anyhow. I'll leave you to it then. She knows? Yeah. Of all people, the princess? Godot left his research behind. When his sister found it, she took it right to the princess. Even now, I remember what he told us. Me too. It's like he's haunting us from the grave. I thought he was annoying before, but what he said is starting to sting. Ophelia said she'd keep it to herself. <sighs> I find that a little hard to believe. I thought she'd make a big fuss if she knew of something like this. I think she's still trying to sort it all out for herself. 
We can trust her. Are you sure? If we look at this from her selfless point of view, this war is... I know, Ophelia. If she says she'll keep quiet, she will. <sighs> she's the same as she's ever been. There's not an inch of dishonesty in her. If you'll go that far to defend her, I'll put my trust in her too. As if we didn't already have enough to worry about with Miss Maria and the Valkyria. We have to tell the others. You're right. The whole country's unsure of itself at the moment. So I hear. All this talk of invasion is making the public second-guess themselves. When you walk around Ruse, it's filled with words of anger toward Jutland. The Emperor has a monument for the soldiers who've fallen, even tells their families to be proud of their sacrifice. The war is something very personal for them. But it's not for Jutland, because we made sure it wasn't. They're detached from the war. Even with the Princess leading the charge? It's because she's leading the charge. The Princess continues to shine in the war. The people of Jutland only see that pleasant facade. It's why liberation resonated so much with them. What's wrong, Vi? <laughs> You're never this emotional. It's embarrassing for this to happen, given my line of work. I've just had a lot of things on my mind. Come on, talk to me. It's my... informant. He's dead. Killed in action. At Covaltus? If Saul were here, he'd just scoff at this as something trivial. He was a good man. A great man. His name might already be etched onto that monument. The Emperor might have told his wife to be proud of her husband. He had two children. I can't help but think that his wife's a widow now. Or wonder what she thinks about Jutland. You're really torn up about this. I'm surprised myself. I've been in contact with dignitaries of many countries. It's my job, after all. But he... He seriously thought about the future of Ruse and his children. They were a normal family, you know. And I slipped into his heart when he was tired of his wife's lavish habits. Stop. That's not the only home that we've destroyed. I said stop. I know you didn't want this war, but we made our decision together. We needed to rescue Miss Maria and Jutland needed to rise up against Ruse. Let's talk it over, Vi. The five of us. Okay. <laughs>